Item 7C is REZ 2021-13 Valdell Villas, Valdell Road. This is a PD amendment. It has county water and sewer, and this involves 28.436 acres. Mr. Dillard. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and Commissioners. Again, this request is an amendment to the previously rezoned Valdell Villas plan development site plan. General motivation of this subject property can be modified to increase three additional residential lots and remove narrative note number seven on the proof site plan that says all buildable lots are sized appropriately for a house to fit on it without administrative waivers. For reference, the uh, ULDC standards for PD zoning require the changes come before Planning Commission and Board of Commissioners. Future land use does depict this um, in an urban residential character area and depicted here, uh, not necessarily shown right at the moment, are, are the wetlands that were previously uh, delineated by the Red, Red Oak Environmental LLC to the Army Corps of Engineers um, to determine if the wetlands were part of the Army Corps' jurisdiction. They were determined not to be, and therefore the placement of dredged or fill material into these wetlands would not require prior Department of Army authorization. Um, the engineering department did submit about six requirements for newly platted lots. Uh, I can read those for you as well, the state of them yesterday that a benchmark shall be established at the front property corner for every lot, a high water mark, base flood elevation, or hydraulic analysis performed shall establish the 100-year flood elevation, a minimum finished floor elevation shall be established for the lots in question, a minimum of two feet above the established 100-year elevation, a minimum of two soil borings on opposite sides of the proposed foundation shall be completed to determine the seasonal high water table, and if the seasonal high water table is less than one foot from the bottom of the footer elevation, a subsurface drainage system shall be designed by the professional engineer who is responsible for the development of the subdivision construction plans and shall be installed. Before any inspections are performed and signed off on, a registered land surveyor must certify that the proposed finished floor is at or above the minimum finished floor elevation established on the final plat. Um, these are the lots in question. Reconfiguring of lots 1, 2, and 3 in the addition of lots 60, 63, and 64. Overall, staff find the request consistent with the future development map and with the community goals of the comprehensive plan and planning commission recommended approval of the additional lots and removal of the narrative note number seven by unanimous vote of nine to zero. Now, narrative note number seven currently prevents the county manager from performing administrative duties as outlined in 90301 of the ULDC, but it does not grant administrative waivers by right. Okay. Commissioners, any questions for Mr. Dillard? Okay, hearing none, we'll move into the public hearing portion of the meeting. Is there anyone in the audience who would like to speak in opposition to this request? Anyone that would like to speak in opposition? Hearing none, is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in favor of this request? Anyone that would like to speak in favor? Hearing none, we'll close the public hearing portion of the meeting. And commissioners, I'll turn it over to you for your consideration. Mr. Chairman, I move we approve the amended PD with the six stipulations that Mr. Dillard, that Mr. Dillard read out earlier. As well as removing the note on the PD yes. for the administrative waiver. Would that be correct? Yes, sir. Accept that? Okay. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. second. We have a second. Any discussion on the motion? Hearing none, I'll call the vote. All in favor, signify by aye. Aye. Any opposed like sign? Hearing none, the motion carries. 